this garden has inspected grass around the world, from Manchester to Mumbai. Millions of people have been agog to hear his verdict. I'm talking about a cricketing legend, the former international umpire, Dickie Bird. An umpire bird with a gesture worthy of a great Shakespearean actor, not only signals no ball, but holds it for at least half a minute. Of all the grounds he surveyed, this is his favourite, with a view over his hometown. I was born and bred in Barnsley, and uh, my father worked here in the town. He was a coal miner. Mm. I've been all over the world in my profession as mm. an umpire, but uh, it was always nice to come back to Barnsley. Walk down the pathway mm. and put the key in the door. I think I'm one of the best views. Uh, uh, around Barnsley. It's not uh, bad from uh, this side of the Pennines. I bet it's better <laughs> from my side. That's it, Lancashire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we cross into your country, Lancashire. Absolutely. It means a lot to me, this garden. And uh, I mean, I have the plum trees, apple trees. Uh, the plums are real big Victorians. <laughs> and uh, I used to have strawberries All just right. to the left here. Mm. But the big blackbirds get, <laughs> get to eating the strawberries. So uh, they went for a bird. What is the story with the hat in the tree? <laughs> <laughs> the hat in the tree there is someone gave it to me. And I thought, well, there may be some bird who come and, you know, nest there, yeah. but nobody has. As a boy, Dickie played cricket for Barnsley with another famous local, Michael Parkinson. But Dickie went on to play for Yorkshire. I have a rose there. I got that in 1959 when Yorkshire won the championship and each member of the Yorkshire team mm. got a white rose. So when the white rose has come out, the beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, nearly as good as the red rose. Not the red rose. rose. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the rose hasn't been Dickie's only gift over the years. The house is stuffed full of medals, presents and awards galore. I've kept everything. I've, I've got, got all my medals and trophies and photographs of the royalty where they met the Queen 29 times, all together at test matches and other functions and going to Buckingham Palace and things like that. It doesn't quite match up to honours from the Queen, but I've got my own little presentation for Dickie's garden. Well, I was going to bring you a cricket bat, Willow, <laughs> but under oh. foot tall, <laughs> I didn't think it was suitable. So I thought he might like this to... I, that's lovely, because that's marvellous, isn't it's, it? It's a thing called Coryopsis, summer sorbe. Yeah. It will grow about two foot high, and it's got beautiful, fine, pale blue flowers. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely. But you see, I think that in there... We, you know, oh, yeah. and, and when it forms a nice form, mound, yeah. I think it'll look quite nice there. A bit of sunshine as you walk round. Yeah. Lancashire sunshine. Oh dear. <laughs> Have a look over those pennies, <laughs> see if the sun's coming out. Of course it's blazing <laughs> in Lancashire. <laughs> <laughs> You've spent your entire life as an umpire. Do you have any regrets? The one regret I have in life is I've get is I've had no, I've had no children. Mm. I never married because uh, in, I was never at home. To have had a son and a girl and a couple of lads and mm. what play cricket, ball to them, yeah. it did give me a lot and lot of mm. pleasure. Mm. Uh, and I would have felt, you know, I would have felt so, so chuffed, uh, but it never happened and. That's the one regret in life. It's not bad just to have one. No, I've had a great life. Some wonderful moments that I shall always treasure. Aye. <laughs>